Hello, I am Nadia Garbellini from University of Bergamo and I am glad to be here with one of the very best economists of our time, Professor Luigi Pasinetti from Catholic University of Milan. We all know that your main contribution to economics actually is structural economic dynamics and we all know that your work in economics did start in Cambridge. We can see that your first, very first publications was somehow uh, heterogeneous and also in some way uh, different from the main focus that was developing in Cambridge at that time. So could you tell us how you did uh, end up working on these topics in Cambridge and how does this relate to your, uh, to your main contribution that is structural economic dynamics? Uh, I was registered as a research student and I was uh, well, put under the supervision of a particular uh, member of the faculty. It turned out to be Dick Goodwin, who had uh, in fact come to Cambridge only a few years before I got, uh, I got there. Uh, and that's how I was registered as a, as a research student. Um, to begin with, no, no subject was um, uh, necessary to be, to be specified. And I began to wrote, to write essays as all undergraduates do in Cambridge, namely weekly essays or bi-weekly essays, and which were then uh, uh, discussed with, my, with the supervisor. That's how I, I began. Um, so the first publications which are listed there are actually the outcome of these essays you had to write well for your research there? Yeah, I said it was 1956 and uh, in that year in Cambridge uh, um, there were two major um, among the among the research students, among the people who were working in Cambridge, there were two major works that uh, were discussed. One was John Robinson's uh, book, latest book, Accumulation of Capital, that was published in 1956. And the, and the other one was an article by uh, Nicky Caldor on income distribution that was published on that year, I mean, at the beginning of that year, 1956, on, uh, in the Review of Economic Studies. Th those were the two, the two major works that uh, were discussed in Cambridge uh, at, the time I, at the time I got there. So it was quite natural that my supervisor, Dick Goodwin, uh, advised me to go through those works. Um, and no, no specific subject, but simply uh, asking me to get up to date on what was supposed to be the were supposed to be the major problems and uh, ideas that were discussed uh, in the Cambridge at that time. Mm -hmm. One work that was uh, very prominent in the discussions um, was the preface to the first volume of. Uh, Ricardo's works uh, that had been published in those years, very, very, uh, very near that uh, that time, few few years before. Now, Srafa had started publishing at last the Ricardo's works on which uh, he had been working for. Uh, well, I mean, we were told decades really. And uh, the preface to the first volume, to the principle of uh, political economy by Ricardo, was uh, a, 
a major, I mean, a major achievement. Uh, it was at the center of discussions, not only in Cambridge, but uh, also in all other economics faculty all over, all over the world. And, uh, and what, that's how I got in touch with, uh, with the works that at that time were discussed uh, in the fields of economics in, uh, in England. Uh, publication in English started with 1959, and it is one that refers to concept and measures of changes in productivity that came out in the review of economics and uh, statistics, and started as a criticism of uh, a major work by Rob Bob Solo, really, that concerned the estimation of um, of uh, estimation of uh, changes in productivity in the United States in the first half of the century, from uh, beginning of uh, of the century, twentieth century, to the time in which uh, he published. Uh, his um, his works and uh, <coughs> my uh, my concern with that came simply from the idea that uh, there was uh, a different way of looking at uh, the same problems which i had learned uh, when, when i got to cambridge england from uh, the, mainly from the work of Joan Robinson, who uh, in her uh, accumulation of capital, starting from the works uh, of Vixel and uh, inspired, let's say, from uh, the in new interpretation of Ricardo that came out from uh, Sraffa's uh, um, collected uh, works of Ricardo. Um, try to develop an approach to uh, well, capital accumulation clearly starting from uh, the I mean from the title of her book but from uh, a, an interpretation in a sense of uh, well ways of looking at production and uh, changes in productivities that came out uh, from a, an approach to economic theory which was uh, nearer the, the works of the classical economics. That was, uh, was as an effect of, a, of, another, uh, of another event, in a sense, in my, in my studies, namely the um, the continuation of my research, uh, not in Cambridge, England, but at Harvard University, which came the following year. I had come from Italy to England uh, with great um, expectations on uh, learning new ways of dealing with economic uh, thinking. And uh, I wanted uh, simply, after one year spent in Cambridge, uh, to see or to get a hold of uh, um, ways of dealing with the same problems uh, as they were pursued on the other side of the Atlantic. It was my own initiative. The first three publications are on concept and measure for changes in productivity and then was carried out in Harvard. Uh, mathematical formulation of the Ricardian system, which uh, uh, started from uh, my lectures in Cambridge, attending lectures in Cambridge, England, um, especially Caldor's uh, lectures, uh, although the whole uh, article is on Ricardo, so that it was then interpreted as uh, a, a formalization, a mathematical formalization of um, 
Ricardo's uh, of Ricardo's uh, work. Let me see. Uh, and the third one is the rate of profit and income distribution in the, in the rate in the relation to the rate of economic growth that was following from uh, Caldo's works really and uh, Ricardo's uh, interpretation of uh, um, the evolution of uh, a capitalist system really. But there is a third one which is not listed here which was on on fluctuation and it was in fact uh, started in Harvard as well after uh, reading a, a work by Duesenberry on, uh, on business cycle. Uh, it's not listed here but that is a, a, is a third article that a third publication that came straight uh, came out straight from my from my uh, work at Harvard, um, so that I was uh, at that time um, as a, stu a research student who didn't want to proceed to do the PhD in Harvard, so that I had uh, I had registered. Uh, as a student in reading and research with four different uh, teachers and the teachers I had and uh, I was uh, able to, to follow in their seminars were uh, Leontief Duesenberry, Karl Kaysen and Franco Modigliani. Modigliani was, uh, happened to be at Harvard that year, 56, 57, 58, not as uh, a local professor, let's say, but as somebody who was there on leave. He was uh, replacing, at that time, being on leave from West, uh, Northwestern University, I think, he was replacing Hansen uh, and was teaching Keynesian economics from the from the from American, the American point of view. <laughs> uh, from the American point of view. So, uh, from these four reading and research uh, um, seminars, uh, I wrote uh, I wrote papers. Three of which actually got published. Uh, one is a concept of measurable changes in productivity. The second was a mathematical formulation of the Ricardian system, which I, st which I ha started in Cambridge through the lectures uh, I uh, got to in Cambridge and uh, from the publication of Slaffer's uh, edition of uh, Ricardo's work, but then continued in the United States. Actually, con Curiously enough, it was a paper that came out of my following Re Modigliani's um, reading and research uh, uh, course uh, because, uh, well, this, uh, it's, I open uh, parentheses here. Uh, Modigliani, when I met him at uh, Harvard and was carrying out uh, this course in reading and research, uh, had uh, asked uh, his uh, pupils, or at least the people who, who followed his lecture, to uh, choose one particular economic problem and, um, and give a mathematical formulation of it. It was, a, I think, it was a reading research in, in, uh, in mathematical economics, I think, if I remember well, or with a title similar, but that was the subject. And uh, since I had come from Cambridge, where on the, in the previous year has followed uh, <laughs> Caldor's lectures on, on income distribution, and I had uh, followed uh, a lot of uh, papers or uh, lectures that referred to Ricardo's 
publication by Srafa of the whole works of Ricardo, uh, I chose the, the I chose with uh, my as my subject at um, in at Modigliani's uh, course in reading research. I chose uh, uh, Ricardo as a an economist who had uh, produced uh, his theories in. Uh, in plain language, uh, uh, tried to put them in mathematical terms. Uh, that was uh, my was uh, my uh, my task. The 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 way in which uh, I fulfilled Modigliani's uh, wish that a student should try to mathematize something that he learned from economic economic theory. Now, Modigliani himself uh, um, was not uh, acquainted uh, in, in, in many details with uh, Ricardian theory. And uh, that seemed to be a, a, an exciting subject to him to mathematize Ricardo's ideas, and that's how I tried. That's uh, the origin of, uh, of that paper that uh, was finished later on when in the, in the following year I went back to Cambridge to continue my PhD dissertation.